This week in science, we're talking about the next giant leap in our study of Mars that will be to take rock and soil samples from the surface and fly them back to Earth. A joint mission by NASA and the European Space Agency is aiming to do that by 2033, but now it looks like China might beat them to the punch. A Mars sample return mission has been high on the science community's wish list for a long time. While multiple Martian robots have produced groundbreaking discoveries, a lot of questions about the planet have yet to be fully answered. How old is it? How was it born? Was there ever life there? And the big one, is there life there now? Bringing samples back to Earth will let us explore those questions using our most sophisticated labs, techniques, and equipment for many decades to come. One effort to make that happen is already underway. NASA's Perseverance rover has been drilling out core samples from Mars's Jezero crater since last year and storing them in sealed titanium tubes. So the issue becomes, how do we get them off the planet? Enter the sample retrieval lander, set to take flight in 2028. It will carry a three-meter-tall rocket, which can be loaded up with the tubes and launched into orbit. The old plan was to send a British-built fetch rover along with the lander, so if Perseverance couldn't deliver the samples itself, it could just stash them on the surface and the fetch rover would take it from there. The new plan scraps the fetch rover in favor of two more Martian helicopters. The one already up there, Ingenuity, has been working like gangbusters, and NASA is confident they can tweak the design to carry small payloads if needed. Assuming everything goes to plan, the rocket would take off from the lander and meet up with the ESA's Earth Return Orbiter, where the samples would be packed up and sent back to Earth. But according to Space News magazine, China is working on a mission that could deliver Mars samples to Earth by 2031, beating NASA and the ESA by two years. It's called Tianwen-3, and instead of using a rover like Perseverance to collect samples, part of the lander and rocket setup would do that, which in theory would simplify the process. China tends to keep the details of its space missions tightly under wraps, but they have had past success in collecting samples from the moon. Something to consider in all this is we don't know what might be hidden in those rock samples, and if by chance it's something alive and microscopic, we risk contaminating this planet's biosphere. So regardless of who brings them back, containment will be key. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.